What's going on today, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Plug and Police, and I'm your host, iStock by Getty Images. Today, we'll be reviewing Mix Checker by Audified. You mix for the people. Turn your studio monitors into classic reference monitors or several consumer devices to hear what your audience will hear. Everyone who mixes content for the audience has to make sure that their mixes sound great in any environment. That must be done quickly and easily. Uh, well, it looks really cool when they have a device like this, but it's actually a plugin. So basically, it's a mixing plugin. It helps you check what your mixes will sound like in different environments or on different uh, mediums. Uh, this sounds a little bit familiar. Hmm. Can you guys think of any plugins that kind of this reminds you of? I can think of two, actually. It's $80, has a free trial. Right off the bat, I'm honestly not super impressed just because it seems like this already exists and it's there's already better versions of this that exist. Okay, real quick before moving on to the next part, I need to explain what frequency response is and why it's important. Every headphone or speaker has its own EQ curve, which colors the audio that you're hearing. In an ideal world, you would like to mix with speakers or headphones with a flat frequency response so nothing is coloring the sound and you're hearing the sound as it's supposed to be. So Mix Checker only tests what it sounds like through different devices, essentially. And there's an option for noise, there's an option to distort, there's an option for mono, I don't know what auto is. Everything else, yeah, it's pretty basic, pretty, pretty to the point. You know, not really that impressive. It's kind of hard to say if it's worth $80. But let's look at these other softwares. So, the first one on the list here is Sound ID Reference. This software may look a little more complicated, and that's because it is. But it's, it's actually complicated for a reason. So, this software does basically everything that one does, letting you check what your mix sounds like on a variety of speakers. Along with doing that, it actually lets you correct the frequency response of your headphones or monitor speakers. And it also lets you create your own custom EQs if you want. See, so yeah, this is what the frequency response normally looks like on my headphones. After correcting it with reference, it looks more like this, giving me a more accurate listen at what a mix down would sound like. Now, the problem with this Audified Mix Checker Pro thing is it does the later parts of this reference plugin here. That's the translation check part of it, but it doesn't do any of the other cool stuff like flatting the frequency response. I don't really care what my mix down sounds like on a vinyl if if my frequency response on my headphones isn't even flat to begin with. You're just coloring the shit out of it at that point, right? Am I am I wrong here? Okay, so um, that's reference. Reference costs a bit more though, but you're getting a lot more out of it. So some of you guys may be like, hey, I'm not willing to spend that money. Fine, I totally get it, totally get it. But what if I told you that there's one that's actually cheaper than Mix Checker? Let's check out real phones here. All right, I actually did a review on this in the past. I'll link it up uh, up here if you guys want to check that out. So this is basically a cheaper alternative to sound ID reference, in my opinion. That's the best way I could describe real phones. The big difference between real phones and Sonarworks reference, though, is that real phones only works on headphones, whereas reference works with monitor speakers. It helps correct for room frequencies. It requires a microphone. It's just a lot more complicated. But real phones is actually cheaper than mix checker and it lets you correct the frequency response of your headphones and it also lets you check what they sound like in different environments and under different mediums so it is, it is without a doubt objectively better pairing these two it's cheaper it has more features there's just a lot more going on with it let's also do some comparisons back to back comparing the two though now this part's going to be a little bit weird i'm just going to turn off the correction for reference and real phones because it's just going to be weird for you guys to hear what the song sounds like through my headphone correction, right? Okay, so we're gonna listen to the beat without anything on it. Okay, now let's test out some of the different things in Mix Checker. Yeah, it sounds basically how I thought it would. Just uh, sounds like the stuff in reference. Let's check out the noise feature. I just, I don't feel like, I feel like the noise feature doesn't really have any actual use. Like what, who is this helping? Do you really need simulated noise to help you mix? I don't see how that's gonna help you mix. I don't need to hear a train station while I'm fucking mixing a song. I think that's really dumb. (music) 
So yeah, uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm just not really seeing like a huge purpose to this. To this. <laughs> the funny thing is that it's called Mix Checker, and it doesn't even do some of the most basic things, like um, I don't know, telling you if your mix is too loud or something. The name doesn't apply. Nothing about this really makes a lot of sense to me. Okay, now let's see. Let's compare that to Reference and Real Phones. I'm gonna go straight to Real Phones instead of Reference because, you know. I know you guys don't like to spend money, even if it's for something better. But, you know, since this one's cheaper and, you know, it does a good job, we're going to compare this to that. So we got real phones open now. So as you can see, I have it set to correct my headphones. I'm going to turn that off for now. That way we're not getting a colored sound. But normally you would do that as well and it'll make it sound more flat, which is good. Uh, we can change how far apart we'll hear things. We can just turn this off too if we want to get it sounding default. But we can basically change the way the room sounds around us. So let's play it back now. Let's hear how it sounds on the headphones. Near. Cubes. Sub. Hi-Fi. Airbuds. add extra stuff to it too. You can do basically everything you'd want to do in a mix check. You can check the phase. This actually has more options for checking your mix than uh, Mix Checker does because it has a band pass, high pass, low pass. You know, it's got some stuff to add to the actual response features here. It's got a phase check. Yeah, I don't know. It just has a lot more options other than just basic uh, frequency correction. I think we can declare uh, Autified Mix Checker busted. It needs to cost less money. Uh, if they're going to charge us much money, they need to include something like frequency correction for headphones or something because at the moment this is just not, this is not doing it for me. So I gave Sonarworks Reference a 9 out of 10. I gave uh, Real Phones a 7 out of 10. I'm going to give Autified Mix Checker a 3 out of 10. Yeah. It just It just doesn't do much for the money. Uh, you know, it's a very simple plugin, but that's about all it has going for it, really. Uh, I see no reason to use this over real phones or Sonarworks Reference. If you guys are interested in any of these plugins today, make sure to check them out down in the description. I'll link all of them. Yeah, don't buy Mix Checker. Buy, uh, buy real phones or Sonarworks Reference instead. What plugin should I review next? Let me know down in the comments. I'm your host, Weaver Beats, and I'll see you next time.